So a large polymer chain will be formed and small molecule will be eliminated. Now let's say that we are reacting a molecule which is a diol. So I have taken for example ethane 1,2 diol. As you can see this is ethane 1,2 diol and I am reacting it with 1,4 benzene dicarboxylic acid. So this is a benzene ring. There is a carboxylic acid group on the first position and I have made a carboxylic acid on the second position. So this is benzene, uh, this is, this is 1,4 benzene dicarboxylic acid. So I have, I'm reacting these two together. Now let's say I react one molecule of this with one molecule. Let's not say we are reacting several, just let's, uh, ju for now, let's just see what happens when I react one molecule of each. So as we can see, this is an alcohol, this is a carboxylic acid, so this OH, not, sorry, not this OH, um, I'm really sorry about that. This H will combine with the OH of the carboxylic acid. So these two will combine together to form water and this will leave the reaction. And as a result, we will get an ester which is this one. Because we reacted one molecule of the diol of ethane 1,2 diol and one molecule of benzene 1,4 dicarboxylic acid. So, um, a typical esterification reaction taking place and we have a COOH over here. Now you can see this is the ester group, this is the ester group linking the two molecules and we have a small water molecule eliminated. So this is a condensation reaction, a typical condensation reaction. Now, let's say that we are not reacting just one molecule of each, we are reacting n molecules of each. So let's just erase one. Let's just say we are reacting several molecules of uh, each of these molecules, of each of these compounds, several of them. So uh, I'll just erase this, this, and yeah. Now, that this means that I will have to react an alcohol. Now, now the special thing about both these molecules is that they have the functional group on both sides, on both ends like ethane 1,2 diol has the OH group on both ends and benzene 1,4 dicarboxylic acid has, um, has the carboxylic acid group on both ends. So that means if I am reacting several molecules together So what happens is that I have an ester formed over here, I have another ester formed over here, I have another ester formed over here and uh, it will keep going on. It will go, go like this from this side and it will also go like this from this side. So it will keep going on. So what we get as an end result is we remove this hydrogen, we remove this OH. So we get a repeat unit of, uh, of the polymer which is this polymer. So this is a repeat unit of the polymer that is being formed because now several of them are combining. We have, we have an ester group forming here, we have an ester group forming here and if you see a repeat, there is a repeat going on. So let me just make, uh, let me just take all of these together and make a very large molecule. So let's, I, I, I'll keep the a, a, a OH over here for now because there's something I need, I need to explain about that. So don't look at in the, the, uh, what I have in the middle. So don't look at this. Look at what I have down below. So I'm, react I'm making this reaction happen. 